Hello, we got some new cards for the upcoming expansion. First up is War Druid Lotai. Three mana, one, two, Druid Legendary with choose one, transform into one of Lotai's four dinosaur forms. You can choose to transform into a one, two with poison and stealth, a one, six with taunt, 4-2 with Rush, or 1-4 with Spell Damage. And if you're playing Wild and have Fandral out on the board, playing this card will give you a 4-6 with Taunt, Rush, Poison, Stealth, and Spell Damage. It's a pretty good card. Giving you the choice between four different minions just makes it even more flexible. And that's the biggest value from this card, is its flexibility. Now obviously some of these are better than others, and it does really depend on what type of deck you're playing. This is just one of those cards that's pretty solid and you could fit into basically any deck. The exception being any Hadronox Beast Resummoning decks. I think if a Druid deck is looking for a 3-drop and they don't have any conflicting Beast synergies, then this could totally see play. Next up is Ember Scale Dragon. 5 mana 5-5 five, five Dragon for Warrior with the battle cry. If you're holding a Dragon, gain 5 armor. Finally, we have a Dragon. And on top of that, it is for Odd Warrior, and it also gains you more armor. The 5 mana for 5-5 five, five stats isn't anything special, but the armor is pretty decent not only to gain health, but also it's good for any armor synergies. I think there are plenty of good neutral dragons already in the game right now, and I don't think Warrior necessarily needs to get a ton of value from dragons in order for them to make a controlled dragon deck. But I think to increase their chances of making a competitive deck, it would really be more beneficial if they had early game dragons. I think this is a decent card and it could work in an Odd Warrior, but I think if the meta is too fast, Odd Warrior might struggle a bit. So I'm looking towards more dragons to be revealed to see if this deck can really be fleshed out. And next up is Big Bad Voodoo. Two mana shaman spell, give a friendly minion death rattle, summon a random minion that costs one more. So shaman is going in this interesting direction where they keep on revealing cheap spells. I'm still waiting for the cards or the type of game plan to bring these all together, but even on its own this card isn't bad. You can combo it with the Zentimo and it makes your board really hard to remove and possibly get better the next turn. But maybe more likely is you'll cast this on a big minion. This is basically a slow death rattle version of Evolve, and what we know from that card is it doesn't always get you amazing value. Sometimes a higher cost minion doesn't mean more value, but in terms of this card, because the minion that you cast this on actually dies, you're going to get full value from that minion, and it means the minion you get off of this spell really only costed you the 2 mana. But a death rattle is not guaranteed, and if you're playing this on a big minion, maybe with other abilities, then it's an easy target for silence. I'm still waiting for the card that brings all of these spells together. I think right now it wouldn't see play, but it has a lot of value potential, so I would definitely look out for this card. Next up is Blood Scalp Strategist. 3 mana, 2 4 Hunter minion with the battle cry, if you have a weapon equipped, discover a spell. So I think the battle cry requirement is difficult, but in a classic hunter, I think you could do it. And if you're able to discover a spell, that's some pretty good value as well. There are a couple of troublesome things with this card. 3 mana for 2-4 stats isn't amazing. That 2 attack really doesn't trade well. And also, it really depends on the speed of the deck. I think this is too slow for aggro because you need to make sure that you can play any card in your hand. In a control hunter, this could have value basically any point in the game, but I don't think this is a great card to combat aggro, and if you're going to play a 3 mana minion, you probably want it to be one that can help in the early game. I'm not saying this is useless on turn 3, but you have to have a pretty lucky start with drawing a previous weapon, and it's not even that great for trading. I think the battle cry, while doable in this class, and the reward is pretty good, I think the stats and the slow speed of this minion just don't make it really possible. And last up, we have Elemental Evocation. Zero mana, mage spell. The next elemental you play this turn costs two less. So obviously this is for an elemental deck, and I think the only reason you would play this card is if you're playing a pretty aggressive version. Elementals aren't really known for their aggro, so I think your best bet is probably a tempo deck. The biggest cost of this card is that it's taking up a card slot. So I think if you do have a tempo deck with a lot of elementals, you're also either going to have to put a lot of draw or ways to add more value to your hand. Being able to play elementals two turns ahead is definitely an advantage. Anytime you can use Frostlich Jaina, it can be a pretty good deck. But I think that definitely gears the power level more towards a control deck. And in the case of this card, it's really just there to make elemental decks faster. Maybe it could help against aggro, but I think it's so low value for your deck that 
and ultimately it's probably not going to work in control. Alright, those are all of the cards for today. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. We're just 10 days away from the expansion, so we don't have to wait too much longer. It's been a pleasure as always, and until next time, ta-ta.